In the name of the Father, the Amen. Son, of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and in kindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 From the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in search of fruit on it, but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord to Jesus, you, Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. Tita Lynn. The three pointers for today's Gospel. Number one, we are sometimes like the fig tree, planted by the Lord to produce fruit in order to feed those who are in need. However, if our branches remain bare and fruitless, it is because we're influenced by the secular world around us. The enemy that is within us fails to bring forth good fruit. Number three, Jesus gives us innumerable chances while on earth to bear fruit, though we do not deserve it. Can we not repay his kindness by producing the fruit of compassion, which pleases him so? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So we notice no in today's gospel, no, there are two main topics, no. One is about repentance. We we notice na na the past gospels, the past gospel, we were we were told about uh, about the uh the, the end is near, uh, about are you ready? Be ready, be vigilant, uh the because because um Jesus is coming as his second coming is uh you know close we don't know when but we have to be ready so this is about repentance so ngayon no ang message is repent repent yun ask for forgiveness for your sins and then the second part of the of the gospel no, is about the parable of the fig tree no when um when uh when we think <clears throat> about ourselves no when we think about ourselves are we fruitful enough yun are we fruitful enough do we bear fruits we don't bear fruits for ourselves, but we bear fruits for others. Yun ang sabi. Oh. Like the trees, the trees bear fruits, not for the trees, but to to, ano, to for, for others 
for others and then um uh and then yung others is iplant din ang seed and then on and on we bear fruit spread it no and then yung ibang tao no they also plant their own seeds and then spread is spread din nila so so um spiritually no um if we look back no are we fruitful enough have we touched lives of other people what fruits did we bear and what fruits did we bear or are we bearing and and sharing kasi fruits are are made to be ano are made to be shared so ano kayang fruits natin no I, I, let's think about ourselves if we have if we are fruitful enough in the eyes of the lord yun very very practical question very practical question ano kaya no sometimes no you bear fruit you're not even you're not even aware that you are you are now bearing fruit by by the way you talk the way you speak the you know your kind heart uh you spread love you spread you spread your smile kahit na ganyan lang you you spread the gentle words you spread god's love you you are compassionate na kung minsan ba kung minsan uh, it's um like spontaneous ba na hindi mo alam spontaneous pero mas mabuti kung kung if you if you are really aware and try your best to cultivate your own soul to cultivate your your heart kung kung baga i cultivate mo ang heart mo pray for for fertilizer kung baga pray for fertilizer para mag ma cultivate ang heart mo and then you will bear fruits and then ask for guidance ask for guidance kasi it's beyond our control na kung minsan but if we are given all these chances if we are given all these chances we can do much talaga yeah we can do much so more fruits what kind of fruit uh, do we have my specialty fruits ba tayo or ano so service prayers alms giving spreading love spreading compassion be merciful like ask for forgiveness ang ano dito is repentance din repent for our sins so that magiging valid din naman ang mabear na to na fruits ba so let's always ask for prayers i mean we always pray for the for the lord to fertilize our hearts so that we may bear fruit um we will be fruitful and and uh, itong fruits is uh, to share to other people Amen. 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 kung sino dyan ang ready? Yung sa Catholic mom, it's nice, I will read to you. In today's gospel, Jesus addresses the problem of bad things happening to people. The Jewish people tended to believe that if an evil befell someone, Galileans killed by Pilate or the 18 people crushed by the collapse of the Siloam Tower in Jerusalem, they were being punished for their sins. That's usually our concept, no? That if something bad happens to us or to some people, we always think, oh, we're punished Gaba by the Lord yan. because oh. we're so sinful. <laughs> Gaba no? na yan, mga ganyan like, ba? Like Very bad. The, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, no? Maybe that uh, influence our belief too, our uh, concept, no? Uh, so, they're, they're being punished. They're being punished. However, uh, Jesus tells them this is not so. He says that all are sinners. Then I remembered the story I told you when I went to confession and the law uh, and the priest said and the oh, priest oh, oh you accused yourself of your sins and are you and are you sorry are you sorry for them yes of course father I am sorry but I I really accuse myself of the sins that I committed then when I told him about my sins then 
I was really relieved and so happy by his statement that it's okay. Do not be so guilty about your sins because God's mercy and love and compassion is greater than your sins. Oh, that's so nice, no? I, I was relieved, really relieved ka. Oh, na-relieve ako sa kanyang sinabi. Although I have heard of such a statement, but directly to being told by a priest, no? I was really, I was really happy by what he said. So if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Just because someone is killed or dies because of an accident, that does not make them more sinful than anyone else. Death is not a direct punishment for sin. All will eventually die. We all must repent to live. Then can you remember the, the statement also of so many people that when a person dies young, it's because he's very good? Can you remember? The, the good, the good the, ones the good die, die young. young. Mm. No? Uh -oh. The good die young. Uh -oh. But all, all of us will die, eventually die. So we all must repent to live. We all must repent to live. So this is the spiritual side of living. In this world where so much senseless evil goes on, what do we tell our children? Jesus told us to get right with God. Don't look to what may be another sin or punishment. We must look to our own hearts and repent of the evil or sin that we harbor. All people eventually die, naturally or tragically. Sometimes bad things happen to good people as well as bad people. We cannot always explain why to our children, but we can comfort them with Jesus' remedy, repentance, also called confession. Regular repentance will strengthen our intimacy with Jesus Christ. And if we go to him regularly, we will always be ready for whatever comes and to face anything the world throws at us. So what did we receive from the catechism? We, at least we should go to confession once a month. Can you remember? Is that what Father Danny said or Tito Mans? Oh, oh. Is it once, once a month? Yes, once a month at least. At least minimum. Uh -huh. Minimum, not every two weeks. We did. Seminarians, seminarians do that. Oh. Yeah. Every two every weeks. Time. Sometimes it's weekly. Oh, uh, it depends on. Okay. See, frequent confession can make you realize and uh, slowly you will be able to Conquer those uh, weaknesses, those, those sins you commit Habit every time. Your oh, habitual sins. Habitual ang maano dyan, ang strong, habitual. And, and you're feeling, but if you go to confession often, you feel so close to the Lord, no? Because you... you forgiven ka na, you, You're forgiven and you oh. repent. And you oh. repent and... and you try as much not to really commit the same sins over yeah. and over again. You try to, you try to evade the chance or the, the temptations to sin, the, to to but do to the same sins or to commit the you same sins. Become state. more conscious, nagiging oh, conscious ka na. Yeah, true. You're more uh, conscious. I remind ka. Oh, I, remind so ka like, no. ah. I wouldn't like to tell so a white lie like again. So. You try as much not to not to tell a white lie because yeah. you just have received the absolution. That's mm. that's what I realized ba, uh, when I went to confession the other day. Oh, two days ago ba yun? Or three days ago at that. So I, I tried my best not to out uh, to stay away from from being impatient, from being angry, from being judgmental. If I if I form 
a judgment in my mind, I'll cut it off right away. So you try to you try to be more careful not to do the same sins or commit the same sins. This gospel passage may seem gloomy, but I can be, but I but it can be seen as an encouraging passage. Jesus told everyone that tragic or senseless deaths do not mean that the person was not worthy of life. It is just death. If you repent, you will still die someday. But there is an implied invitation to embrace what he offers. Remember, repentance can bring us closer to him. So going to confession often really brings us closer to Jesus, to our Lord, because we want, because of our guilt, because of our repentance. You don't yeah, we want, want to, to say it. Yeah, yeah, you want to say want sorry. To say sorry, and you want not to commit mm. again those sins, no? So we are mm -hmm. being asked, do I regularly go to Jesus and repent of the sin I harbor in my heart? So we pray that the Lord will help us to see what we harbor in our hearts and let go of them. And it will, and our repentance of all that keeps us from being close with Jesus will be gone and will be stopped. No? So we repent, we reform, our lives are transformed. And we go, we become closer and closer to our Lord, aiming for holiness, aiming for eternal life. Amen. 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 Beautiful. No? Oh, beautiful mm -hmm. no? Re uh, repent, repent, reform, transform your transform. life. Transform. Oh, and and um, be and be fruitful. No. And be fruitful. The second part, the second oh, second part. part of the gospel. Be and fruitful. be fruitful. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Very Amen. nice. Uh, Amen. Tito Mans, you have something, no? Yeah, dito sa maganda nga itong Das Marinas, no? Oo, maganda din. It says, Why is there a need for us to repent now? The simple answer is because we are all sinners. We sin el almost every day through our words, actions, and thoughts. What if we suddenly die and we are not able to repent for the reason that we keep on delaying our repentance? We miss the golden op opportunity to be with Jesus in heaven, and we have nobody to blame but us. Repentance frees us from the burden of sin and guilt. It frees our souls and it opens the door of God's blessings for us. What if we refuse to repent and instead continue on sinning? We then have to be prepared for the consequence of consequences of our stubbornness and sinfulness. In the church, complete repentance occurs the moment we decide to humbly submit ourselves to the healing sacrament of reconciliation. Here we humbly ask forgiveness from our Lord. Here we allow God to heal us from the wounds of sin. When was your last confession? It's the question. Well, in the gospel, no. It says uh, the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of the sacrifice. He said to them, do you think because of this Galilean suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all the other Galileans? You know, perception of, of, yeah, of the uh, people in the time of Jesus, that uh, if you uh, are, are given that sufferings or whatever they equate it with the, the sin they commit ganun ka agad sila yung kasalanan ini equate nila doon sa punishment punishment i think it's not so no it's more of a for me it's more of a reminder no that you are uh, crossing the line the red line parang reminder no 
not really a punishment, but to remind you that you need to change your ways, to reform your ways. Kanina nga umaga, I stated something. We are familiar with this wording, with the saying, buy now, pay later. Alam natin yun. But the gospel says, yeah, the gospel so, says, yeah. repent now or pay later. Pay later. Uh, repent now or pay later. pay later. And you wouldn't let that happen to you. So you repent now or you will suffer the consequences. Yeah. Repent. May relation din yan sa second uh, portion ng gospel. Because if you are adamant, no? if you don't want to really reform, how can you bear fruit? See? You can only bear fruit if you ally yourself with Jesus. You must uh, have that uh, close relationship, as you say. Close relationship with him. The fruits, the fruits of the spirit. Hindi ka makakabunga kung abalakas na kasalanan, mga kasalanan ang ginagawa mo. No fruits. You will be cut down. So, repent now. Or pay later. pay later. Amen. 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 Very nice. No? <laughs> Repent now or pay later. Or pay later. <laughs> um, Thank you, Tito Mans. Very nice. Um, Realistic. Tita, tita, tita Helen, maganda. Rabasahin mo, Tita Helen, maganda. Uh, uh, please go ahead. Huh? Do you think they were more guilty? It was a popular belief among the Jews that misfortunes in life are caused by transgressions of the law, while fidelity to the law results to blessings and prosperity. While this may be true in general, Jesus rejects the notion that all misfortunes result from sin. Bad things happen to good people, as bad people can also wallow in prosperity. If Jesus warns people of, of experiencing a horrible death on account of their unrepentance, most probably he means the spiritual punishment that persons face as judged by the Lord. It is wrong to presume that bad things happen to people because of karma. We know all people experiencing hardships not because they are bad, but because that is what life has brought them. We should stop asking God, Why, Lord, what have I done wrong when bad things happen to us? The book of Job, which recounts the misfortunes of a just man, ends with a poetic assertion on the transcendence of God's wisdom. Even if bad things happen to us, while remaining faithful to God, we can trust that he allows it to happen because he means some good that we can derive from it. Do we trust God's wisdom? Amen. 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 Thank you, Tita Helen. Yan ba, no? Yung word na karma, no? Yeah, yes. no. Oh. We should refrain from talking karma ko. Yeah, uh -oh. I, I did something wrong. Uh -oh. It's not an It's not good to uh -oh. use the word. Uh -oh. Just like what they said, just like what they said, that the sun shines to both bad and good bad people. Bad and the good. Uh -oh. So, it, tapos na ang nakakas ng attention ko, Tita Helen, sa sinabi mo, no, na, na bad people can have good fortune. Yes. Uh Oo. -oh. Tapos, mm -hmm. good people can have 
misfortune. Misfortune. Oh. Mas so, asensado nga sila. Mas asenso sila. Well, you know, uh, I was also uh, touched by that, ano na, even no matter how bad you are, you did something bad. But then you did also something good. So the, the good balance thing that you did can also uh, compensate for the bad that you did. Yeah, like for example, a concrete example. A politician is known for his being corrupt. A certain politician na known talaga siya na na nag ano sa coffers sa uh, government he did those things but then he also gave so much to the church oh. so i also realized i also deduced that uh if if he did that if the, he gave some something to the church a big amount to to for the church to to maybe uh, uh, renovate, to renovate the physical plant of the church, then even if he did something bad, he can also maybe erase a little of his sin. Is oh, that... Gin, 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 gin balance niya. Parang Robin Hood style yan. Yeah, oo. Sab sabihin ko pa sana Robin Hood style. <laughs> But Easy money kaya ang politicians kasi uh, but, but at the least they're thinking doesn't justify, justify the end. Yan lang. Yan lang din. Yeah. So uh, kung pa rin. Mali pa rin. Uh, mali ang ginagawa niya pero may, may, may ginawa din siyang uh, may ginawa din siyang mabuti. Oo. Oo. So but, but we are not to judge whether whether ang ang ginagawa niya na mali is masurpass talaga ng ginagawa niyang uh, yes. kabutihan ba? So, what if he it, gave wholeheartedly to the church? Yun, isa pa. What is the purpose of him giving? Hmm. Is that to uh, to make him popular? Kasi politician eh. Pero depende if naman siguro. Wholehearted, out of his faith na he gave something oh. to the church. Oh. Kasi kung sa politics ka kasi, I mean, I, I can talk about politics talaga. Kasi nga, politician ang ano ko. Um, there, there's always the lure of money. There is always the lure of money. Palagi kang ginatent dyan na without even asking. Without even asking. So, so yun. But if you... If you don't ask no kung kung binibigay lang sa iyo I'm talking about politicians no kung hindi ka naman nag-ask binibigay lang sa iyo mga whatever ba uh for for something na gratitude nila sa ginanuhan mo ginpermahan mo papilis nila o whatever tapos eh, pero deep inside no ano ka uh, Christiano ka so you receive the money you didn't ask for the money you 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 receive the money that is given to you and then spend mo sa ano you have to discern sa... kailangan i-discern mo exactly yan. dapat i-discern mo oh. oh. ma, ma ano dito tricky dito is especially mm -hmm. when we're talking um, about politicians no na what is your purpose in giving good mm -hmm. if if it's wholeheartedly what about yung iba? You accept. You accept. Mm -hmm. But then give to the poor. Give. Yan. Oo. Huwag mong, mong ipunin para sa iyo. Oo. So, pray for discernment. Totoo, Tito Mans. Pray for discernment. Yeah. Kasi pwedeng bribe or what? See? Yeah. Oo. Ang, ang bribe na yan is wala yan dito. Ang tawag dito sa US ng bribery is lobbying. <laughs> <laughs> lobbying. <laughs> Sabi ko, it's not lobbying, it's bribery. <laughs> uh, Napaganda lang ang pangalan. No? A soft oh, term. Napabango oh. yung pangalan. No? Yeah, pero mabaho pa rin. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Mag, magbigayan ng magbigayan sa sa ano magbigayan magdonate yan sa partido ninyo or personal sa iyo basta may kailangan ako okay ka ha yon bribery pa rin pero la, labi ang ano tawag dito labing ang tawag dito so <laughs> kay, kay mainit kasi ang pera eh yon lang mainit ang pera yeah. mainit ang power Kasi I'm also, I also um struck by that when we we receive something good like something good happens happen to us then we we I tend to say I must have done something good to to be given by the Lord this kind of grace. I I I sometimes think about that. I I uh -oh. must have done something good. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Once in a while nakaano din sa sa akin. You, you ano ba? You uh -oh. you Do I deserve this, Lord? Do I deserve this? Uh oh. I must have done something uh -oh. good. Uh oh. Although I'm so unworthy. Yeah. <laughs> so, very nice gospel, no? Very nice uh ano reflections and discussions no so number one is just repent Re repent reform transform your life and uh, bear, fruit. Ano, bear fruit bear fruit oh it's bear fruit and what kind of fruit prayers uh, a prayer not you know, fertilizer mercy forgiveness uh oh what else I'm giving. I'm giving, sharing, sharing, love. sharing love. Oh, marami. We can really, marami talaga tayo mga fruits. Just, just keep in mind, no, na, na keep on praying also for, ano, for more fruits, for more fruits, for more fruitful life, fruitful spiritual life, so that we can bear more fruits. And remember that fruits are, we have fruits not for ourselves. We bear fruits not for shared. ourselves, but to be shared. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. And I think that's it for today's Gospel and Reflections, no? Yes. Um, take the floor, please go ahead. Yes. Dear Lord, we have united into our hearts and are ready to change our midst. We yearn to your closer for your love and live lives according to your will. And not the word words in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, to the Holy Spirit. To the Holy Spirit. as it was in the beginning, is now and ever, and shall be in the world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tomorrow again. Bye. 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 Bye.